August the 11th. Now I'm inside in what I called the experimental field. We have just finished off grazing it. Now this is always an interesting move. I have recorded this a few times. And I don't know why that fella is on the wrong side of the fence. But what I have to do now is go up that hill. I'm in the middle of a shower here. Up to the top and into some lovely sweet grass. Now I haven't been really counting how long my rotations. Oh my God. There's a bit of a blue sky over there, but it's not finished raining just yet. I'm gonna have to pause this. Right, okay, where was I? God almighty, the rain is just relentless. Ever since the heat wave quit, the rain has not stopped. We had two Midland days this week and now it's back again. Them showers really annoy me. Normally I don't give out too much about the rain, but the difference in winter time is you'd have a good coat on you. But I am only out here in a jumper, standing under the tree. These things happen. Well, I have my fence made above. I'm going to let these cows out now. They're going to follow me, as I say, up that hill, out that gap, and up and over. I will show you some lovely grass that's up there now. As I was saying is also as well, I haven't really been keeping track of exactly how many days rest these fields are getting, but I did look up on the phone before I made this video and while I was fencing in the next paddock. It's 51 days since I was since I was on the field that I'm going to go on to now. Um, it was the field I left Ruby into when I first got him. So that was at the end of June. So we've the end of June, all of July, and now we're, where are we now? Almost halfway into August. So these are all standing here now, nice and calmly. Now my reel is on the opposite side over the far end there. Now if I was to open that up, the cattle will have to follow me all the way up through there, around the back of that hedge and up. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna open it here. Will I? Yeah, I'll open it here and just throw it down the ground. And that means they only have to go as far as that little ramp there. It's a wet old spot there, that ramp. Um, I'll do it now, hang on. Okay, so the fence is open. They haven't budged at all. So I will walk backwards. And they should start to follow. Now the situation with cows coming bullying um, the skinny white clare is due I think soon I'm going to separate out our son that's him there coming behind he's in second place um, who else was due and she hasn't come around is the red whitehead's daughter she could be in calf and that red short on there as well behind the Galloway bullock no sign of her either so I can let these go ahead, will I? They can't go up any further now. I still have the fence closed there in a kind of a laneway made here. I'll let them do their own thing for now and see what they're going to do. Now there's the bull following up that cow there. As I said, there could be in calf to Ruby. I don't know. I know the ones that are not are, are the ones that aren't, for a fact. They're skinny. She has to be looked after too. Right, I'm going to walk ahead. What do you think, Mother, huh? Mm. You can see this gap here gets very wet. So I'm getting stuck. We have had lots and lots of rain. Maverick, yeah, Now, here is our reel. I will come back down. There's a blue sky coming now. Look at that. It's sick of you. Bloody showers. Now, one, two, and there we go. Nice and calm, girls. 
So as I say, the field we're coming into now has been resting for a little over 50 days. There's some lovely long green grass in it. Very happy with the recovery on it. Very calm cat today, very calm. Isn't that right? No, like the pipe pipe. We're nearly here. Come on girls. No bother. Now the excitement will start as soon as they see this grass. We have a bit of a puddle to go through. And then we are there, one sec. My quad is in the way. Oh, God help us. Now, this is what we're coming into. Let the cows in first. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Uh, I'll get them again. Come on. I'm mostly in. So basically, this is what we're on here now. This is lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. Let me just stand down and see where it comes up to. Up to my over past my knee. Now I will let them graze that off. They're on about three quarters of an acre for the day. I will come back tomorrow. I'm kind of late coming to them this afternoon, but I'll come back to them tomorrow morning. It'll be just maybe under 24 hours, I'll be on it. And I'll continue them on down, and then this place will be closed off for winter grazing. I won't be back until August, September, October. Coming into October, November even. In around that time. But I'm very happy with the regrowth. And I have a feeling we'll have about this again come October. Definitely. So there is my thumbnail for this video. A short video. I've already posted this week or this Friday, it was uh, my ponies. So just for the cattle, boys and girls, here is a little weekend cattle move. All is quiet on the 11th of August, 23. So for now, I will say good luck and goodbye.